that'll do it. So, let's see the fun in the game begins, where the last time we were here, where we left off, where we done all of our um, done all of our dungeoning and our dragoning. Yourselves had um, you went to a little place, a fortress, if you will. Yous found some footprints in an encampment. Went down a little bit, found a altar, didn't quite know what to do. Went down some more, saw some weird creatures. Thought, you know what? Let's uh, let's plan on this. Came back upstairs, done a little plan. Led them upstairs, killed them, met an elf, a uh, sea elf, and also a human scout. Were very friendly with them. Uh, they told you about the weird dragon priest guy down the stairs who was very much doing um doing weird things. The party went downstairs and they fought themselves a red slad and some tadpoles and some weird mutated green slad looking thing. Uh well, the car party became victorious, and as they did, they they went down to a Yeah, they found some notes. Found out where they were to go next or where they wanted to go next. Found some additional little places and also tried to bury the rock. Um they didn't quite bury the rock or bring the temple down, but they made it that anyone that gets down there certainly isn't getting back up anytime soon. They left, went to the waste, spent some time looking around and up in the north saw piles of smoke coming. And as it were, we start things off right here in the day. Uh, so if you have not already, it's RJ, it looks like I'm playing the sorcerer. Just in time. We just finished uh, start. So, for I'm not feeling uh, I'm not feeling great, but I will say, like uh, from earlier, um, when I said like the like like let's go back and finish demoing the rest of it, I was not aware that we were playing today until after I looked, after I sent that, I was like, well, I'll be I'll be damned. We are gonna go back and finish demoing the rest of it. Mm. Are we? Though? No, nobody uh, else can. That that was a joke. <laughs> like that was a joke. I like I, I thought Scottish was making fun of us for having um having uh destroyed the the place and and then we were claiming that and then uh Scottish said well you only really destroyed part of it I'm like we got to go finish it. There's a job. No half-assing. No, uh, no half-assing. Yeah. What were you saying, Scottish? If we haven't already. What? Take a rest. Yeah. If you haven't um, already. Take a long rest. As the last thing heard on the radio by, I believe it was yourself, Renard, or was it. Who done the last perception check for me? It was me. Ah, Revel, the last thing that you heard over Das radio was uh, some crackling, some snappling, some Rice Krispies, and the word Sylvanesti. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna may as well just hit that long rest button on her sheet. <coughs> yeah, I think the only person missing right now, because he's kind of pulling stuff in, but we know he's here, is uh, Tipler. Uh, oh no, I said I, was, I said I was back in chat. Oh. The game chat? Ah. Oh. Yeah, the impact though. Ah. Then, as it were, um, the only person not logged in right now is RJ, but you know, unless something goes down, uh, which. Look could... again. No, you're still not logged in, mate. <laughs> look, 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 one more time, please. 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 Just, still just, like, staring, one more still staring there, friend. Oh, God, the white oh, screen. Oh, don't see it. The white screen is, is just horrible. There we go. Okay, so it's black now. Yeah. So when I see a black screen, then that means I'm logged in. Got it. It was slow, but don't worry. It's fine. 
realize I really have no uh, desert atmosphere. Let's uh, let's play Mirage. I tried to make a moment, and my computer said you're not that guy. Just, just stop. Yeah. As thou put everything away for the day, to continue traveling on the roads, the rough hewn, dirty desert roads. Um, first thing I require from anyone is your, your method of transport. Are you going fast, slow, or normal speed? Let's do um, <laughs> normal. Standard touch. Coo -coo -coo. Are we still dragging the army behind us? They're always about a male behind, yeah. So ball and chain. Makes sense for the characters that can't make it though. Where did they go? Asleep. <laughs> we just left someone in the middle of a desert with an arrow as a we are this way. I like to think that uh there's either like a trail of pebbles and us and like a message spelled out in the pebbles, <laughs> or for the particularly lighter people, um, we just roll them up into a bedroll and strap them across our backs, <laughs> but like haphazardly. So at some point they're going to dangle off the side head and their head's going to hit a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. Some old Woody tunes. <laughs> no, I like that. Uh, so, uh, who'd like to roll a D10? Who's quick on the draw? Oh, yeah. It's a 10. Oh, it's a 10. Wow, it's a wow, 10. 10. <laughs> Does anybody remember Jesus. how the rain was last time? Uh, yeah, it was... Last time it was flooded, as I recall. And today, the nighttime drizzles and the power from the seas has filled the wash still. As such, you... Yeah, Gonna have to take the high road throughout the day as the gullies and channels of the northern wastes are filled with rapidly rushing waters. And as I take a look at our notes, we. three locations. Where is the. Wow, I have fucking horrible handwriting. The Circle of Sears, that looks like Gears, Matthew. The Eastern Maze and the Deep Draughts. What is our direction of travel? We're heading towards the, um, the, the Sea Elf people on the Deep Drought, if I recall. Yeah, yeah, I believe that's correct. Because it was said that their uh, elders might know about the city of Lost Names. Oh, I just, I just relay the information Breaking up there, Matt. What'd you say? Breaking up there, we got, uh, I relay the information, and then there was a bit of a, uh, came. Oh, that something, uh, something weird came through the far gap, something about Qualen, uh, sorry, Silver Nasty. What do you mean? I still think you came through. No, you're, you're good now. So I was just. Oh, I'm, right. um. Just. It was just static, static, silver nesty, and more static. Are you, are you speaking through a mobile connection right now? New headset. New headset. Oh, okay. I'm doing it on my computer. I can switch to my mobile. That's usually what... I could still hear you and understand you. I was just making sure, like, you weren't suffering some loss of quality that you weren't under control of. It's all good. RJ, the Discord a... cleric. That's, uh... That's impossible, though, right? No one else with the far gab should be out this way. How to find out. What was the range on that? The range on a 
bar again. Oh, pull back the book. Go past all of the NPC companions. You're lucky I don't bother playing. Go past the bestiary. <laughs> um, still the bestiary. Still the bestiary. The far gab has a range of 18 miles. And we left it in Calaman. You know there's a far gab in Calaman. And you yourself have a far gab yourself. But what you can also ascertain from that is somewhere within... That's the wrong tool, Matthew. <laughs> you can ascertain that somewhere within... One, two... I'd say somewhere within about this radius, maybe one more over, that there may potentially be another far gap. Oh. Maybe our gnome friend made another. Or there is a ghost in the machine. <laughs> or that too. Uh, feel that's a reference and I'm just not getting it. It is a reference to Ghost in the Machine. <laughs> now, um, is it, it can ghosts possess? I don't know about objects, but... Mm. Alright, we're heading for deep drow, draft, drought, draw, draw. I like the word drop, personally. Alright. Uh, so in terms of a possession of particular object... Um, Wait, what is it uh, What is it spelled like? D-R-A-U-G-H-T. Yeah, that's drawing. And as it were, you saw... Head on down through the... Damp, dank, humid... Hot desert man, it's like fucking Scotland but sandy. <laughs> uh, who would like to roll a d20? Just so you can use up for Tomb of Annihilation. <laughs> See, sorry. I, I, already, I already rolled the d10, so someone else for a blue of yeah. mm. Hey yo. Oh, oh fun. That sounds oh, like me? really bad when I say that. <laughs> fun because I've got to go to the very front fucking book. There we go. So, as you are travelling through, you soon come across make sure it drops all the tokens. Why is everyone Oh yeah, you're all basically inspired. Did anybody use their inspiration from last session? I wonder. Nope. I did. I, I did. Exodus did, but then Exodus also got the song, so two for one on Exodus. Uh, I don't think I used mine. Well, I didn't, but Scottish might have. Uh, I did not. Don't worry. As you start making your way through the odd turns and weird crevasses that you have to navigate in the northern wastes, you soon find a stone archway lined with sigils. You're not too sure exactly what it is, but it seems to be sparking and giving off all sorts of weird energies. Mm. I didn't make this animate, that's my problem. There we go. Weird energies, it flickers. <laughs> there is, for anyone who wishes, a... There is a history check up for grabs, or even an arcana check. 
DCs are a bit up there, though. I'll make a, uh, whichever one I have higher in. <laughs> Bang. Oh. oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, all right. New information. <laughs> I would better roll I have a flat nice. plus one on both of them. Let's see, all right, so, um... In the, in the funniest way possible, this this southern man, this this man from ways down south, in comparative yeah, to the right. in comparative to the other man from way down south, um, you know this, Exodus, you know this to be of all oh, things. Shit. You know this to be of all things a old teleportation gate, part of a magical transportation system. They used to stand in a place known as Onyari before that city fell. It was once occupied by mages. Estarian mages. Mm. Starian. Do I know anything about Starian mages? And what is Starian? Um, you're testing me on this one, and I can feel the judgment coming from somewhere else. But Starian, no, not too much about Estar really is known now, apart from the fact that it was an Estarian king priest who kicked off the entire cataclysm, which subsequently led to Lord Soth and Caradoc and Tachesis and now technically the War of the Lance. Um, Ooh. So, you know, Astarians are kind of the reason that Clifton hadn't been seen for about 300 years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you'd approach it from a distance. Do you guys know what this is? My 18, do I know it all? Um, you're 18 in Arcana, you can ascertain from the runes carved into it that it is a teleportation, almost like a teleportation circle. Clifton has no fucking totally idea. Know. Like, I'm looking at it. You know, it kind of it kind of tracks for Clifton, because, like, he's pretty fucking new to any of his shit working. Mm -hmm. He has no idea how to work most of it. So I'd say you'd be aware of like you know the spell teleportation circle and such, and this is almost like a, this is almost like a teleportation circle. Sans having to burn a spell slot. Yeah. I, oh, um, that's convenient. Until I, I speak up and I say it's a, some sort of teleportation circle. Um, where it goes, beats me. Where it goes is enter description provided by Scottish here. <laughs> That's where. What you do note is, as you watch it, you do see that there are the odds, you know, eldritch sparks kind of just going off, almost trying to make some form of connection. So that's... If you think like a car that just, you know, won't start, a diesel car that won't start on a cold winter's day with the engine constantly, you know, <laughs> just that. Realise that sometimes when I make sound effects, they don't go through. No, I heard it. Um, you look to the other do you think we can fix this? Um, can I take a closer look, Scottish? I can. You can get if I, if, no, just if I'd be able to fix it, I'm not entirely sure. You know that it's uh, old, old magics. I mean, given alone the city of a star, this is where my knowledge of the setting absolutely falters when I say, you know, the city of a star. Probably fell about three hundred years ago. Oh. It's 
to make it your choice is what you do here. Right. I realize I need to update Melano sheet as well, real quick. There we go. Uh, as this would say, I think it's a worth exploring. I mean, place, but a place like the city that have earned this name because of what happened there. I mean, this could be a shortcut to exactly where we're trying to go. Mm. Can try. You first. Me first? Yeah. Okay. Does, doesn't even work yet. Walking around inspecting. Never know until you step in. <laughs> you are walking around. You know, wide berths and taking a look. You can see all manner of debris. Certainly what comes from what would have been like some form of protective podium in the past, where you can see the pillars have shattered. However, you can also see more finer and intricate stonework that, you know, you can tell doesn't fit in with the general aesthetic of this. I think there's been something stone around that's also been shattered. And so you are walking around as well, though, as you're looking through the sort of portal archway. The sparks of magic are still trying to ignite, but, you know, the whole time you can see your comrades having a conversation and such, and their image and their visage doesn't seem to change in any way. So, it's, you know, there's no ill magic at play warping any of your dis warping anything that you can see. There's no, illusion. I want to say illusion magic. Illusion, yeah, there's no illusion magic. Hmm. Should we trust it? Where does it go? I mean, we could have our uh, wonderful sorcerer here, Melano, uh, take a look at it and make sure it's not just going to blow us up if we try to step through. I, I think God's um, I'm just going to step inside. You kind of step up to it. You. You almost like the hair on your arms and the back of your neck seem to just rise up. As it does, you know, watch the magic seems to just as it does, there's almost a gravitational pull around as there is a little bit of a shake and Renard, you notice that the nicer looking bits of stone that weren't part of the, you know, fallen pillars you watch as they kinda all seem to form together and smash into this form. As it does, you watch as this proud looking human of fine robes, with an aura of sunbeams around its head, seems to animate in front. And as it does, uh, I just need to ask uh, Revel real quick if a 26 hits. And for everyone else, I need to ask you to roll initiative. <laughs> Fucking no. Christ. I also, I also need a con save from uh, Revel as well. I was holding on to that F for so fucking long. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That I F. think that. That F and fuck. Can I, uh, uh, can I do, can I do my thingy? Your thingy. Yeah, my thingy. 
If you tell me what this thingy is, by all means. Here it is. Chrono shift, uh, or flow of timber and creatures, reaction, uh, 30 feet make an attack roll, ability check, save and throw. You can force the creature to re roll. Uh, you make this decision after you see whether or not the roll succeeds or fails. Kill, kill, kill. Uh, I'll roll it again and. Um, must use the second roll. Nineteen. <laughs> and it hits. Yeah, that, yeah, that hits. Arguably for less damage, though. Arguably for less damage. I like that. I like that. I like that. Still need to save. A uh, con save. Con, sa con save DC fifteen, please. I mean, it's sixteen. Uh, saving throw. Ha! Just meets it. Uh, so, uh, good news is. Your hit points are not reduced. You still lose fourteen. Love that. You, you lose fourteen, but you don't lose fourteen to your maximum. Because I love that for me. I love that for me. Yes. Yeah. I gag when you said that. Maximum. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. I'm just, just getting... That means I, that means I'm going to stay as far as away from this thing as possible. Um. Somebody gun. load up the Tasha's hideous laughter gun quick. <laughs> I don't. Um, I don't even know if this thing's intelligent yet. So I know if it it should work. If it can talk, talk maybe I'll cast. Revel, top of the round. Good news is it kind of comes in. You manage to dodge away to try and get your thing off. He watches it kind of re re remix smashes into you still. Not as bad as it was. He's gonna stand there looking at this clay looking motherfucker. <laughs> clay. It, uses, it, it gives you this description clay and then it just says use stats of clay golem because nothing else changes. I give you his weight. Is it a large creature? Uh, yes. Um. Hmm, well, we got a fight ahead of us. I've noticed that in almost 40 sessions, you just never look at something and go, we should run away. Why? Yeah. No, that's not my style. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that would be against my uh, character. My character's character. I'm just assuming that we need to advance the plot. I'm rolling on roll tables. Talking. What do you think's advancing with this, mate? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like like I'm 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 used to like each uh, each encounter a DM having needing to be resolved in some way, shape, or form, like running away, but means we'll have to come back later or something. And a hex crawl. Uh, let's see, a Jalen, uh, where are you looking to teleport to, and I can uh, teleport you there. You looking to be behind Renard or next to Renard or next to Exodus? Or at the other end of the portal. I'm trying. I'm sorry. What'd you say? Where are you looking to end up, and the I can click it for portal. you? The other end of the portal. Want me just to move you the full thirty foot to behind it then? Yeah, and just get as far as way uh, I can with my normal move. Oh, okay. I also tell the uh, the guys hopefully not to get too close to it because it's gonna go boom. Alright, it won't let me move you in that regard, it won't let me do your misty, that's nice. Normally does. Misty? You missed that stuff. I just reloaded the page because my uh, character sheet gets stuck on my screen. That's right. You know, now that I said that thing about Estar, I'm pretty sure the city of Estar is still on the fucking map. We're a side quest, go there. Come on, guys. This star is underwater. Under the is? Well, fuck. That answers that one. I wanted to go there. <laughs> I wanted to hang out. No. Oh, wait, isn't that not uh, the... Isn't that not the Red Sea place now? 
Yeah, the, the, sorry, the Maelstrom. Yeah. Blood Sea of Istar, yeah, it's down at the bottom of that. So it was still on the map. <laughs> uh, Julian, I've been unable to move you, so if you want to click your token and do your little flash. I'm trying to get back to the game. It's not cooperating with me. Well, this is what I'll do, I'll be very bad. I'll just, uh, I'd say I'd move. I'd say I'd move you, but like, you're going to take a turn after it as well, so I'm going to yeah. end your turn immediately. Uh, okay, we're here. Poof. So if you want to poof. click your token and then click to the square that you're moving to, my friend. Yes, sir. Is it not Misty Step, you know? I'm trying to. No, that's right. Um, can I? Yeah, I can move. It just doesn't let me do the spell. Let me try it for you. Let's see what I can do. Yeah. Just want you to do this over here. Are you moving all the way to the right? Move your cursor. Where just you're moving. Uh, move me next to Renard. I had to recast it. Fuck knows why. But there you go. Bim bim bim. I didn't use the spell slot, so right. you're fine. I'm gonna move back here. Yep. And that was a level spell, so what I'm gonna do is Firebolt. Okay, else. A 12 will miss, unfortunately. So gonna gotcha. And just boom through the portal as you watch it. And kind of goes missing for a moment before you can see it at the other end. Did anyone else your turn? No, that's it. Cool. Melano will, um... Shit. You usually run the other way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hide behind something. Um... Yeah, we're gonna play Melano a bit more ballsy. Um... I would say mage armor, but like... How much you can do with that? Uh, let's try uh, Moonfire because, you know, be smart and it saves. So she will karate chop the ear and see what happens. <laughs> Exodus. You already know? Um question about uh razor yeah i only get dealt damage if it's undead right this thing does not appear to be undead you can very much tell that this thing is classed as a construct as you watch it form in front of you i will grab the necklace of shahira sharia shahira beyonce beyonce and i'll go Wee. That's 15. That's 15. Yeah. Okay. Wee! I forgot I had a sword. I'll make attack. Who gave that to you? 11. No. Renard gave me a sword. Miss. Put it down before you hurt yourself. 11 is a miss. <laughs> so I am. I took that once sword. More fleeing. Wee -boo 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 -boo. Sorry, Renard. Let me borrow a sword. I. I ain't gonna be. I, 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 I don't want to be that guy, but I don't want to be that guy. I want to say this. Um, I distinctly remember you saying to Revel, "Give uh, remember to give me that sword back," and Revel immediately changed the fucking subject. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna. He's gonna get. He's gonna get it back eventually. Eventually. This is the one time. Every whenever you remember to ask for it back, you know. <laughs> oh, like the last time. Gonna get it back in his fucking corroded to high hell. <laughs> uh, could I hide behind this thing, or is this not a wall? Uh, that's not a wall. That's you're probably looking at about maybe. That is laying over here. Half and of over it. Here, and yeah. Over here. You're probably looking about maybe six to twelve inches. So the only way you could really hide there would be if you went prone. Um, right, I, think this, I'll... I think this one would have been a possibility. Ah, uh, yeah. Then, yeah, I'll. Uh... 
I've done that. So I was, hold on, I was here originally. I move here. Yep, 15. 15. And then I go. How much would that put me at? I don't know, but let's just let's just give it thumbs up and say that it's enough for haste. Right. It's way more. It's way less than sixty. And then I'll bonus action fucking stealth. There we go, and that's my turn. Clifton. Hmm. Well, let's see what we got here. Uh, no, no, no. A twenty-two for eight will hit. He's gonna fire. Has anyone damaged it? Uh, you. Oh, no. That is, I guess, a city gate. Okay. And... Are you going to do Toll the Dead? Because if so, give me a second and I will update your Toll the Dead to do the correct damage. There you go. Yes. Okay, thank you. Toll the Dead. Eight. Just saves by one. You kind of bong. It just kind of stands there and does nothing. Hmm. 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 Hey, bud. That's right. Did I answer time? Oh, I I ended my turn. Oh, so, uh. Hmm. My turn? Shit. Yep. Yes. I wonder if I could shove him through the portal. You are more than welcome to make an attempt. <laughs> Does anybody have a large uh, water spell? <laughs> hmm. Let's first do. Let's do this. A uh, long number. Uh, Searing Smite. The next time you hit a creature with a melee weapon attack. Um, flames. Kill, kill, kill. Is he going to off with the bonus action? And I will rush up here. I shove him first. Uh, to shove, one must, I believe, make a contested strength throw similar to uh, grappling. However, if you can tell, I'm stalling for time. Must I look exactly at that particular rule that I posted in the chat back in February? <laughs> uh, disarm, mark, overrun. Shove aside, uh, with option special shove player. Da, da, da. So, um, yep, it looks like it is a standard grapple. However, um, the attacker has disadvantage on the strength checks when it does so. Hmm. I think that's no, to okay. shove aside. I'll double check the ruling on it right now for you. Because that could just particularly be shoving aside. Okay. Uh, combat, shoving a creature. Yeah, if you give me the information on shoving a creature right now, that'd be fucking grand. I didn't read disadvantage. Cast, disengage, help, hide, ready, search, use an object. No. Nope. I've got. This is on roll 20, shoving your creature, so. Yep. Same. Uh, just the. Just the no, no disadvantage, but yeah, it's a. Uh, to no Yeah, so. Cool. It's, I go for a walk. I'll go for one uh, or like. Target was 
The target must be no more than one size larger than you, which is good within your reach. Uh, make a strength check contested by... Yeah, so it's only disadvantage if you're pushing it to the side, since you're trying to push it straight forward. Um, we're looking at two straight rolls here. Alright. No, that's not... Well, that's decent, but not great. It fails by one. Lift the bones, you can push it in to the portaled area. As you do, you're going to watch just the magic seems to almost infuse around it and start sparking. Um, but it doesn't really seem to have an effect on it, as you can tell right now. It's going to end right. there and sell very much stationary. Did anyone else return? Oh, uh, I got. I think that only replace, takes place of one of my attacks, correct? Uh, from my interpretation, yeah, you can still make another attack. Alright. In... A 16 will actually hit. Yep, Plus um, the damage from my Searing Smite. It must make the con save on that. I'm going to put the post this in here for us as well. Uh, DC 13 constitution saving throw, nat 1. So, 10 plus 1 plus 5 makes... 16. Makes Matthews pulling out the dungeon, uh, the monster manual real quick. Because I know she gets fucked. And I'm not gonna commit to something immediately without first uh, telling you what's going on. However, there's a chance that it. That it... Full disclosure: there's a chance that it only takes fire damage because the updates. One six seven. I'm sorry. What did you just say? There is a chance that it only takes one of these damages, and I don't want to say it. I don't want to say oh, it only takes this one until I'm absolutely certain, because I don't want to fuck you over. Um, <laughs> it takes uh, six fire damage, and. Slashing from non-magical attacks not made with adamantine, so therefore uh, I would say it takes full total damage there, so 16 total damage as such. And then the further 6 damage on a field save, it takes 1d6 fire damage. Uh, right, so it takes standard fire damage, then it takes more fire damage, um, provided it keeps failing the con saves. Cool, cool. Uh, do anything else with your turn there, man? No, I think that's it. Alright. Sorry for the quick hang. No problem. The goal we'll get right. will... I'm going to watch as the goal kind of starts to move in an almost weird way before popping itself out of this, almost like it is being pulled away, but not by much. There seems to be a force in there. As it does, it will... It'll make two slams against yourself. Uh, 23 hits, 14 misses. Uh, constitution saving throw DC 15, please. Oh. You're ah, uh, you're all right. Your hit point maximum is only reduced by eight. I watched it reduce someone by twenty-two. Revel. Revel turn. Oh, Are you serious? I just got disconnected from internet. Oh wow.
Uh, let's see, huh? It. Whoop, I got that grab here. Uh, Rebel, do you want me to do anything for you, my friend? Um, give him magic missile. At mm -hmm. third level. Magic missile at third level, okay. And let me just quit. So you are. You cast a spell using the spell slot of Saint or higher. The spell creates one more dart. So uh, it makes three. It uh, makes five darts. And you're 1d20 plus eight. So, uh, hit. Hit. Miss. Hit. Hit. It's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, and then we roll one, two, three, sixty-four. Ooh. To make a total like of twenty-one force damage. Nice. I like that. Ooh. It's gonna. You know, watches one of them just seems to go awry and at the portal once more before boom, firing out with a bit more speed than normal as everything else seems to just start chipping away at the golem. Do you anything else as you turn there, man? That's it. Cool. Uh, Mel and Olam playing two characters. <laughs> <laughs> Cries in Spanish. Uh, oh. Well, try her hardest to assist her friends as need be and we'll fire off a guiding bolt. Fireworks in the skies, totally misses. Melano shrugs because she didn't put anything in her wisdom. Exodus. I attack. Five. Whoop, 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 whoop. I want to be careful not to step into the circle when I do this. Step into a circle. Thirty. The circle? Oh. Thirty. The the teleportation circle. Ah. The one that Rebel stepped in and came out of. Yeah, I'm gonna then attack. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, baby, and a cripple. Yeah. And that's also a sneak attack? Yeah, and you haven't lost any health, so you don't really need to do any healing. So I want to roll another 2d6 on top of that. Yep. So, 7, 5 makes a total of 14, 13, 12, 20. True. Damn. Oh yeah, and that was my first attack. Let's go second attack. Yarp. 18, 18. also hits. Eight. 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 Did I not your turn? Uh, I'm running away. Goodbye, Moon Man. Say goodbye. A bonus action dash to get exactly where I was before. And that'll be my turn. Let's fire over Clifton. RJ. RJ. I'm pretty sure that she has. Best, hashtag best attack that I've ever seen Razor make. A seven, unheard of. Is RJ there? I don't know, maybe. Are you here? Probably ain't feeling that. I'm now playing three characters. <laughs> <laughs> three? Melano, 
the clay golem, you, whenever you're not there. Uh, you know what, fuck it, toll the dead, because it's good. It has to make the save. I guess in that one, it takes 12 necrotic damage, and then we also take the spiritual weapon. And it was at second level. And a 12 misses, unfortunately. And that'll be RJ's turn, Renard. Oh, great. Okay. Let's try this, make sure we hit, which usually doesn't work, but we're going to try it anyway. One d eight. Yeah, one d eight. That makes twelve overall damage. Twelve, twenty-five, twenty-eight total damage. Does, I, does my searing smite carry round around? Because it lasts for. Uh, let me check how that works. Whether or not it's on my turn as a golem, next time you hit a creature with a melee attack. Um, it's targeting flames at the start of each of its turns. Will the spell end? The target must make a constitution saving throw and failed. Um, successful. So I hit. I get it for one hit, but he has to save for six turns. Right? He he has to save for a total of up to ten turns. Ten. Yeah. Okay. So far, and um, just two attacks. Yep. So far, it's done all of its damage. Did that announce your turn? Um, no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, what's your spell save DC again? 13? 13. Con save. Yeah. 11. I uh, Searin Smite's a D6, yeah? Yeah. Wanna roll me a D6 there, sir? Three bunny bunny bunnies. As it does. I. No, it's not doing too good with his D6s. We'll kind of take its slamming fist, and as it does, we'll run it into you for what you've done. 25 for 12 will hit. Okay. Uh, in fact. So she's actually done something. Let's smash its silvery barbs because that way we can all say Melano done something, right? Uh, so that's 1d20 plus. Oh wow, it's 1d20 plus 12. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep, uh, there's a higher d20. Almost a nat 20. Uh, so yeah, 25 for 12 on Renard. And I need that con save again. <sighs> I do not believe you're good there, sir. I don't think so. Um, can you, you can have Renard re-roll that. Reroll his con save? Yeah. Okay. Uh, second roll hit a seven. That was my concentration save. I had asked for. Did it ask? Did you want me to re-roll one of those? Um, so that was the con. So I've got a uh, twelve for the con save. Or do you need to concentrate on searing smite as well? Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, so that'll be your searing smite. Searing smite drops. Um, Revel is saying that you can re-roll because of chrono shift. Yeah, the first one. <laughs> God. <laughs> another seven. It doesn't matter, I got another seven. And you take a further 12 points, and your maximum hit points are now reduced by a total of 20. Oh. And can the golem? It can't. It can't. And so. It will unfortunately have to smash at Renard again because Exodus is just out of range. 
and this thing has a three to intelligence. And so, 22 for 11. And mm, let's cast this. Shield. Yep. It's gonna boom. Gone. It's gonna watch it boom, deflects off, bounces away. This game seems to straighten itself back up. Rebel. Rebel's gonna uh, run in to give the clay golem a second target instead of beating up on uh, Renard. Because Renard's a good friend. Well, thanks. <clears throat> No, uh, it's like, okay, there we go. Um, let's see what I'm going to do about him. Him? Wow, it's 351 post-cataclysm, and you're just out here at Summon? Terrible. <laughs> oh. Oh, green flame blade. <laughs> so, uh, dun, 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 dun. so you brandish melee weapon. So, yep. Um, that's go also going to be an additional D eight for the sword. Yep, I'm just checking because. Burnish weapon, you spell casting. This is a Tasha spell, isn't it? I think so. Yep. Now we got to play Rule Lawyer. Um, uh... Hello, did you call my name? <laughs> <laughs> you brandish a weapon used in the spell's casting and make a melee attack. So, um,. Roll the sword. Hello? Yep. Okay. Because 23 is a spell. That 23 is a 1d20 plus 5 plus 3, which is your spell modifier, taking into account your intelligence. But it's telling you to make a melee attack, which would be using the sword, which would not be using your intelligence. Okay. You can see how much I hate this fucking look, right? Again though, if mm. anybody has if anybody finds anything else online to counter, counter contradict what I've said, I will happily take all suggestions. Um no, that's how Blooming Blade works. Until then uh, yep. Until then a three misses. Oh uh, not one misses, but you know. I'm sorry. Gotcha. Doing anything else with your turn? That would be it. Then we will roll over to Melano, who will go ahead and firebolt. That's another not one. I'm gonna call out to um, call out to. Yep. Clifton, and X if he can bless us. Exodus. I go fast. I go fast. Rogue. I go fast. Rogue. I go burr. With the two, uh, let's see it. Fuck off. Uh, <laughs> second one. Does that hit? I'll be snack attacking, so 14 total. Well, time. And then I looked at them, and I'll say, you got this, you got this, and then he would <laughs> walk all the way back, like the wind, and that's his turn. Yo, Clifton. <clears throat> like a good little spell jockey, I bless. Um, Where the fuck did my spells go? Oh, I probably oh this was typed in. That's on me. That's... Okay. What is this? Is this an action? 
bless is one action. Yeah, I'm gonna make this good. This is all I got this turn. Is that, so, uh, Three. who are you blessing? Three people. Alright. I am blessing. Nard, Revel, and Exodus. Alright. Uh, just by the moving. power vest. Oh, by the power vested in me, by the Catholic Church, yada yada yada, <laughs> holy water sprinkling. <laughs> yeah. I now pronounce you 1d4. That's right. Uh, did anything else your turn there, man? Um, not that I can do spell wise, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure movement wise is not really. Let me check. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. Okay, I can move. Question is, do I want to go within striking distance of this thing? And I forget how offhand attack works, so I don't think I'm trying to do that right now. Uh, you could... I believe... Mm. Offhand attack, I believe, has to be made with, like, dexterity or something? Or, like, a light weapon? Is something it a light like weapon or is it dexterity? Because... I, th I, one I think it's a, I think it's a light weapon potentially with finesse. I'm not yeah, that, sure. Yeah, that that, that made, that's what made me. Oh, I don't have that shit. Be because monks um, can just do it, but they use yeah. dex, but they do it as an unarmed strike. Mm -hmm. Features, what features do I have? I have nothing. I, I, I have nothing. Does anybody look injured? Uh, Renard seemed better. It is. Okay, we're not seeing better days. Can't two, cast two level spells though. Two level spells, yeah. Down. Well, y'all have fun with that. In turn. <laughs> Renard. Okay, well, let's go back to the old standby. This. And. It's a mess. Oh. Also a mess. Uh, twelve plus four hits for a total of sixteen. Do you want to know the funniest thing in the world? What's that? Mm -hmm. uh, sixteen, seventeen, twenty-four. It only has one health. You, you know, one, one. <laughs> Not even making that up. You're gonna bring it in once more to smite down the ungodly foes. <laughs> You're gonna bring it in. You watch it sears, burns, and then blows with lightning as it seems to just crumble down in front of you. Oh. Well, I'm still alive. So it's always our luck that we have one creature that hangs on with one HP. Yep. Always. Yeah. This is my current max hit points is 38. So, yeah, your current max is 38 as you are down 20 maximum. So laying on hands doesn't change that. Uh, no. It's more of a... It's more of a you have taken a very hard owie. You've done more than stubbed your toe, you stood on Lego at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Good to know. Would you, uh, would you uh, count that as something having to do with the size of the creature that we're fighting in, instead of, like, an ability that he has? Um, it's not so much an ability as it's part of the attack in the same way that part of the draconian longsword attack is that it also deals fire damage um, every attack taken by a uh, I'm going to say a clay golem but I think most golems barring a flesh um, every attack taken by one of those has the ability to reduce your hit point max Pardon me. It's ability to reduce your hit point maximum for a period of time or until certain conditions are met. 
Um, you know, terms and conditions apply. Please, please seek Bill Pierce permission before entering. Uh -huh. I'm gonna check just now for you. Um, what is it you're asking in regards to it? And I'll take a look right now for you, little man. Oh, I was just uh, asking what, since it is a large creature, would that have been like a factor, a factor of its size rather than a factor of its ability to do that? Like, I know if you have this huge stone golem knocking down, like doing slams on you, you're gonna feel that. But say if he was a medium or a small creature, would he still have the ability? Did you do that to you? Um, I believe it's maybe to do with the fact size may take into effect, as well as the overall strength of the creature and how it was created, as it seems to come from the elemental planes. Uh, and also, I would also maybe put a touch on there that its attacks are classed with magical, so that may be a magical effect. Uh, it's not necessarily 100% clear though. Okay. I was just saying because I have the spell enlarge reduce and it does affect a creature's strength as I take them down in size, you know? Is that like any strength based attacks are made with disadvantage or something like that? Yeah, strength based attacks are made with disadvantage and they have disadvantage on strength checks, so I'm taking that as it affects their strength. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'd say that would but I think it would still I think of anything, um, how I would run that is maybe given the con save as advantage instead. Okay. Yeah. So he's not going to stand here. The gate still seems to be flickering momentarily. Uh, I'm back. Uh, oh, wait, is he still alive? Oh, no, he's very much dead. Uh, okay. Let's see. So, you're going to watch this still get sparking and buzzing and, you know, it's, uh, what's the play? Let's go inside, guys. Got a portal wide open for us. I say we use it. All right, you going first. Sure. It's still I can't a combat. Move my token. Yeah, it's still a combat counter here. I turned off the music and I've got to kill the king here. There we go. Thank you. It still seems to be That's, sparking away. I still got the uh, the music going for me. Maybe I'm paused. The music's a me, me thing. I've turned off the music. Don't worry. You say you're moving in to the portal. Right. Yeah, I'm moving into Go in first, and if you're not able to come back within five minutes, we're not going after you. He just watches Revel walks into <laughs> between the archway portals as all the magic and such seems to be buzzing and passing through. You watch this, you know, magic kind of goes to all manner of small ends, and you watch it does pass through Revel's body because it does. Revel it tickles. As uh, as Revel goes through the portal, he's gonna be like, ah! <laughs> like it hurts. <laughs> oh, of course you would. Checking my notes as well. Uh, it's, pain. it's unbearable. You watch as well as this happens. You watch as in the magic passes through a small orb of magic. Always seems to loop round in Revel's chest as it passes on through it, almost making like a network of veins and such. But any time it gets to the chest, it seems to make a small circular ball before passing on through. Hmm. Huh. I don't. I don't go anywhere, do I? Nope. Huh. I'm sorry. Maybe I misconstrued the rooms. It said it looked like a teleporter. 
300 year old teleporter from a long gone distant place. Probably broke. I told you it was broken, didn't I? Possibly. Um, let me rub this uh, stone golem. Why not? Uh, I will say you can make, if you wish, an arcana check on the gate as you have been standing there and letting the tickly painful magic run through you. So as you check the golem as well, it is all just pebbles. There's nothing there. It's a <coughs> stone golem that magically appeared. Uh, the gate, though, tickles. You can't can't ascertain any way in which you could stabilize it. Do that? Uh, the, wording of the, book, the wording of the book, and I'm only giving this part away. Well, any up. creature with the pact magic or spell casting feature can do certain things. So, um, essentially, anyone here can, because you, you have spell casting as well, right, Art? Um, so, you know, the Arcana check is up for everyone. But again, can I? No. You can try other things, yeah. but as far as you're concerned, it's uh, it's fucking ancient Greek myth, literally. Can I try to? Um, I'm just looking around the portal, investigating it. I guess, seeing if I see anything else. Um, each side seems to matter. The ruins on one side are the same in, as the other. Probably some form of wayfinding or pathfinding. This seems more of an age territory than it's a, a, a cleric style territory, but I'll put my hand on it, say a silent prayer, and see if my god will help me understand the magic of the gate and help me to fix it. I tell you what, you'd, you'd have been an excellent cleric. <laughs> uh, you can go ahead and make the. Uh, Arcana check if you wish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and anyone who's seen my intelligence says this has little. To oh my god, it got a 17. You give it a feel, give it a touch, give it a look. The magic itself to, your, to you is different. Uh, you seem to have an awful lot of enchantment and divination. Abjuration. This is whatever it was. It was definitely a conjuration to teleport. The exact powers are such you can feel are fluctuating, but how to fix them is still. It's not something you yourself have ever had to deal with, but you are aware that there is an imbalance here. Oh, it's an arcana check? Arcana check for anyone with a spell casting or packed magic feature. Oh. It broke. Melano? I was going to give it to uh, Clifton before I go ahead and do Melano, just in case. RJ? RJ? Okay. You have to be Melano. I hate to take you guys' thunder. Oh, she got a six, never mind. It's, it's definitely up to RJ. And Renard, you've been the closest. Mm. You have been the closest, sorry. <coughs> oh. How close? If he weren't so dumb, would he have made it? Let's say his intelligence was 10. He'd have made and it. There was no negative. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my fucking god, he also got a six. Yeah, um... Yeah. Estar was a fucking fun place for the uh, small amount of time that it may or may not have existed. Uh, I don't know. I'm really mm. focusing on the Age of Mortals right now. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, it's, you know, it still flickers, spits, and sparks, but you can't. You can't make out why. You know, there are. You can think of ways to stabilize it, and you may. But as to how to stabilize it, you are all taking equal shots in the dark. Do the pillars seem to play any part in it? Uh, more just decoration than anything. They would have held on a roof that you can tell is either long shattered or... Uh, well, long shattered because I don't think anyone could fucking steal that if they tried. <laughs> what? 30 foot could... by 30 foot of stone? Yeah, that's not getting stolen. <laughs> We could try retracing the pattern in the sand. Ooh. Or we could leave it alone. Mark it on the map. Yeah, mark it on the map. I have those. Take. Can you uh, can you describe the portal to me? A stone archway lined with sigils. Uh, you can tell that it used to be some form of teleportation gateway from the Astarian mages. It's very much somewhat old, and as you have approached. It seems to have started sparking up its arcane energies once more. I've ma marked this on the map where you are. Um, I'll change the color of it later. I'll do it now. Uh, yeah, that's really all there is written here. Maybe, maybe we need a destination line first. Hmm. We can't. Maybe it's not linked anywhere. That could be a possibility. We've just been trying to walk through it without any thinking it'll take us somewhere, but not sure. And why not black egg at the bottom of the huh? Hmm? Yeah, what's the, uh, what's the plan here, guys? You know, if you can't fix it, we move on. Mark it on the map and move on. I don't have any idea. It's this. Then, let's use all. No, I didn't want to delete use. I wanted to delete the dead golem. Thank you all. Let's use make your way back. Walking on through, heading down towards Deep Drop. The heat, humidity, and the feel of this oppressive, barren, deadly land. It's. Well, it's been better. It's been worse, but it's also been better. With it, sure. So, if you <clears throat> make your way ever much closer to the night, to the encampment, the night draws closer. Gets darker. The wastes get heavier. What's the plan for this one? We charging on ahead or we camping for the night? 
Ooh. I'm all for camping. Yeah, I think we should camp. Okay. Play it safe with Renard being injured. Then, as the night comes by, you just park up tent. What are we all doing? Yep. Need to set the watch. Yeah, there's uh, only really three people here, let's be honest. So, uh, you know, <laughs> watch as y'all three because uh, RJ is doing something, God knows what, but so, yeah. It's gonna be used, unfortunately. So, uh. I'll take first watch. Gravel. Mm. Second well, watch. Who has night the dark vision? Because I don't. I should take watch where there's still some light. Dusk. I guess you can take first. I'll take second. Okay. I got dark vision. Those guys. I can see in all the darkness. All right, I'll take first watch. Lick my wounds. Okay. <laughs> then, but as it was, as everyone was about their ways, Bernard, you watch the areas. You get an idea of what's happening, what's coming. Try your hardest to focus and heal up. You are in a substantial amount of pain. You're stoic and holding it back well, but it's very much there. Oh, there is a desert sounding after all. Nice. I'm already playing it. <laughs> As you, was, you know, you go around looking, can I have one Check of your perception to the entirety of this place, please. Throw it all. Ugh. It's a dreary looking night more than anything. Can I have a D10, please, as you look around the area itself? You know, the area doesn't seem to be getting much better. In fact, the wash is still high and torrential. The rain still soaking down a little. The end doesn't really seem to be in sight for yourself. It does you hear more light mutterings on the far gab, but as you just make out what's going on, the Seem to be going silent. There's someone out there with the far gap somewhere. Mm. Yeah. Now look up in the sky, you can see all the constellations and such, the dragon elves, the birds. It doesn't seem like anything from down south ever seems to be coming up. Ascertain that maybe whatever's up here is already here. But for it, there's not too much that you can do. What has Get been done? Far has been done. Yeah. Get on the far gab and try to get contact with whoever I'm here. <laughs> you start. Marking out on the far gap. In here, you voice is over. Here, exiles, exiles. 
Wreckage. It seems to break up a lot. Almost as if the person is just constantly entering and exiting range. Ah, so saying that, you know, probably that's going to be the case. The wash is high and, you know, when walking through the gullies, that's one thing, but when having to go on high, you are taking the long roads. Why don't you, you know, yourself, you find it odd, and you know, the Sylvanesti, they, why are they, why, why would the Sylvanesti be up north, you know? Mm -hmm. You know a few things in regards to them. You know that they headed to... I had it here. I actually post... No, I didn't post it up, but I... No, I did post it up. Uh, dun, 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 they headed to... Oh. Yeah, you know they oh. headed to Argoth, which... Though north of Sylvanesti, you know, it's not, mushy, mushy. it's not north of Calaman. Well, north of Calaman? Well, well, well it, is north, it is north of Calaman, but it's across a fucking ocean. So No, like I'm saying, I'm saying what is, uh, I was gone, if it wasn't, if it wasn't apparent. It's alright. No, why this section? It's, uh, it's a nightly watch, don't worry. Don't worry. The night's watch. As you ponder on these things, uh, you know, feel free to knock off that ration and that water skin. I make the assumption y'all are filling the water skin because, like, you know, it's fucking rainwater. No, no, no. The rations is where things get fun. Yeah. For yourself. Oh, yeah. Who do you Rations. wake? Oh, don't worry. Don't you worry. Who do you wake? Believe. Oh, who wanted me? Tip Tipler was next. Who knows? Who was sure. right? Tipler. Yeah, what's up? That's the he's known. Oh, uh, I think I'm third. Okay. Revel then. Yeah. Let's go. As I went into the dun dun, a dun dun dun, da dun dun dun. Yeah. Rebels, you are. You are awake. Mm -hmm. You are awakened in this wet, damp night. Yep. Renard lays his weary head down to exit light and enter night. Mm -hmm. You awake. You get away into the camp. You can hear off in the distance the clinking, jeering, and cheering, and the dying down of the Calaman troops, who would also be taking their own watch. You look on out the sky, dreary, some clouds, some rain, some stars. You know how it is. This oppressive looking place, though. Not doing. You know, it's not doing anything for your complexion, but you know. <laughs> Could you roll me a perception check, sir? Gotcha. Thirteen. <laughs> As you ah, uh, looking around, coming to grips with all of this. You constantly in the sky, almost you know, this burning of a spider in your retina. Huh. Not any spiders, it's odd. As you walk around the camp, you don't you don't feel like eating. You don't feel like drinking. Wait, 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 are we supposed to see a camp right now? No, no. See it at the mind. Oh. 
okay. Whenever I was poking around in the fire last watch I did, I saw a spider as well, didn't I? Yes. Huh. When in doubt, eat it. <laughs> it's like a burning of a spider, not an actual, you know, eight-legged freak. That's a bit more ominous, a burning of a spider. Yeah. yeah. Man, this pen is fucking <laughs> shit. You see the image. You, you can tell, however, that this image is not what's making you not hungry. Not too sure what was it. Maybe playing with a magical portal that you have no, no understanding of, or was it running around this wasteland that's got you overly exhausted? Who knows? Uh. You seem to be getting by with it. Is there anything you particularly wish to be doing as I grab another book? I pay attention to our gab. Try to get somebody some information from whoever else has a gab out here. Yep. Is you Are there any um high points that I can climb to close to camp? Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd say with ease, there is very much places that you could easily get up to to go ahead and give little shouting details to. It's you. I'll uh, I'll get on the highest point I can. Just try to get some better uh, reception. Hello, I've been trying to contact you. Extended warranty. Uh, as you start giving it all over the far gab, giving the good old speaking, speaking, and listening. The noises of the words that people are shouting, they are not a loud, but they're still broken. Mm. As everything within that affirmation to ten foot or so, you know, as you hear the voices, little insects seem to scurry off in other directions. <laughs> you don't hear too much in regards to elves or such again. You do hear, however, about patrols and the breaking of them, where they've been spotted and things people have found. You hear of no, hey. your people fighting more dragon army officers. You hear the descriptions of Baz Draconians and Sivak Draconians. You also hear of some of the more odd things. Three reports of people fighting Plesiosauruses. People talking about fighting Octopus. You hear of one man who took his great sword and started spinning around as he ran and jumped into the mouth of a shark, of all things, and ripped it apart on the way through. Hmm. Ascertain that's maybe not just uh maybe not just land creatures that you may be fighting in this particular area. And that you've just got either lucky or unlucky, depending upon your definitions. Well, as I, uh, as it's, as radio starts to calm down, if it calms down, um, Rebel's gonna get down from whatever stoop they climbed up on. Mm -hmm. 
And yeah, that's pretty <laughs> much it. What he would have done with his watch. Then, uh, who are you waking next? Um. Waking Exodus. Hell yeah. Cool. And as you put the far gap back and pass that, you know, overuse, knock a little nudge towards Exodus and you yourself. Put the head down for the night. Why can um, this shit never be in alphabetical order? Exodus, you awake. You know the night is cold and passing. It's a good night nonetheless. However, it feels off. Roll me a perception check, please. On it. Nineteen. Nice. I don't know the page I need to go to. Books are great, but just remember that uh, <laughs> that's a piece of quick reference. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Yeah. The area seems to be quieting down a bit. You don't really hear much from the group northern either. The rain seems to be settling and drying in these small hours of the morning. With it, you yeah. watch, you look, as it were, you hear. Are you not going to eat? <laughs> he would uh, grin to himself and say, you know, I was actually just about to look to see what I can scavenge up around camp. <laughs> Did you know? I've not eaten? What I fed you? Over oh, a week ago. Mm. Well, I've been giving you animals. Is that not enough? Let's change that then. He would get up and he would dust himself off and he would go to walk around the camp to see if he could find any things that, that he could eat. If they're near a body of water, he would go to the body of water or like a river or wherever is nearby camp. In this particular area would be a few miles out. But you can go ahead and, you know, start. I would, however, ask for a wisdom saving throw. As you're walking, you feel the burdening pains. I'll use my inspiration on that. Go ahead. I don't trust that one. 
I don't trust that one either, but I, I use my inspiration for it. As you are walking, you feel magical connection to your weapon break as it does. Find me someone worthy. I'm back. I'm, I'm the worthiest one you're gonna find. feel the almost weight of this weapon seem to just vanish. You feel your magical connection just break. <laughs> well, the first time in I... about six months, in the weirdest way you could ever think, there's only two voices in your head. And only one of them's yours. He would sort of speak to his patron now. And say, Looks like I have to go find something big and nasty. Before going to go look for something big and nasty in the wilderness. This is your walking through your area. Just looking for, you know, fit and such. And the mind yourself, the eternal darkness with two spotlights. Patron and you know, leans in. Do you really though? Come on. He's like Wait now. <laughs> Alright, I'm here. <laughs> as as your your patron leans in. Do you know? He promised, but never delivered. <laughs> Unlike me. What's the worst that happens if you leave him out here? Someone else will have to bear his curse. And I'll be damned if the enemy gets a hold of such a mm, unique weapon. Your enemy plays more psychological game. Friend, the foe. I feel the weapons are the least of their concern. Close the dungeon master came back. Wee! Do you plan to continue his hit their quests? Get to the grave. Duh. 
light, the hunger, the loneliness, the sadness, the horror. Sorry, what was that last sentence? Do you plan to continue its quest to fight the angry, hungry, lonely, lost and wretched souls from the grey? Do you plan to make your way to the grey with or without its consent? I mean, if I don't have it, there doesn't seem to be much, much of a reason. But with it on my side, it uh, offered uh, power for that. And you mentioned yourself that you would like to go there. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> and home is where he is. So you believe Yep. So you believe it's some sort of trap. Get the name, get the name, get the name. Why would anyone not looking to trap someone take them to his domain? There are many points around here that call his name. I call his name. And most led to the grave either serve or become subjugated to the gods. told me the sooner I would have tossed them in the ocean. You may want to toss yourself in the ocean. He who is divided between good and evil. Shinrei Ocho. Take your pick. But make it quick. Happy hunting. See, light seems to go out in your mind, and you just almost passively walking seem to find yourself just on the edge precipice of about a 40 foot drop into a gully of rushing water. At this point, if you wish to fish, you can. If I wish to th fish or throw the dagger into the Mount Doom. Um, I exist. I'll take the dagger. <laughs> no, you're, not, you're not awake right now. No, 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 I know. He's also taking a three mile hike away from you. <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna wake up. Where the fuck is Exodus? You guys. He, he took the last watch. Where'd he go? We could have been eaten by tigers. Ah, yes. The the uh, notorious uh, desert uh, tiger. <laughs> yeah. Mountain uh, lions or something, man. Snakes. I don't know. Exodus would take out the dagger, razor, and would look at it. And he would say. You don't hold as much power over me as you believe you do. 
perhaps a partnership could have worked if you made yourself useful. And then he would let go of the dagger. As you drop on the dagger, watch as it seems to just into the water. As you watch, it seems to float away. As light as any dagger. Feeling a slight relief knowing that this leads out to the ocean. And so, given you've been that rough area, it should be relatively quiet, relatively, <coughs> pardon me, <laughs> relatively quiet, relatively clear to the ocean. The chances of this being picked up are none to slim, but you do feel a small wash of relief. Just gonna look up to the sky, the clear night sky, brimming. Well, well actually, no, not brimming. Yeah, how the fuck would you see a black moon in a black sky? The fuck, Matthew? <laughs> You know, look up, there is a big, dark patch in the sky where stars used to be. <laughs> it's a shell in the night as well. It's dead of autumn, but you feel, you feel by the time winter comes, it'll still be very warm here. Do you and then, do? he would quietly fish himself some dinner. Roll a survival check. <laughs> he just fishes up the dagger. <laughs> I Are you giving cruel. me that easily, bitch? I ain't that cruel. I just never got planning at that. Uh, listen. Listen, 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 listen. listen. I want to do it is I'm just gonna move the dagger right into here. So that way it's it. It's now in the you are here sheet, so that way I can quickly grab it when need be. I remove it from your sheet entirely. Boom 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 boom. There you go. So you spend your time fishing. Oh, oh yeah. You seem to notice it. And the Early hours of the morning is when the wash is low. You spend maybe about an hour fishing and dear by God in every way, shape or form, bountiful night, smashingly amazing as you manage to catch yourself all manner of fish, octopus, you know, just take your pick, you know, it's, it's all up there for grabs, but you reckon, including tonight's dinner, you get about five days worth of rations out of everything you've caught in an hour. Maybe your luck is turning. Ooh. How many fish did I catch or how many rations I can make from that? Uh... A ration for today plus five days extra, so six days total Ooh. ration. Six days total Can ration. I... I'll, I'll put five. Yep. You need one. Can I finish? <laughs> you would go make sure everyone in camp didn't, didn't die while he was gone. Yeah. Uh, for yourself, uh, RJ, uh, if we roll it back, you just want to roll me a survival check and I will see what we pull. <clears throat> Since you weren't taking watch or anything, I'll just be your kind of, this is what I did at camp. You know, what I learned in summer camp. What I learned in boating school is... Yeah, um, mark yourself six as well. You know, unless you need a ration for today, in that case, mark yourself five. Class yourself is good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Exodus, do you wish you there anything else with your morning? I don't know. Yep. Camp and pretend I've always been there. <laughs> Do you 
make your way to camp. The day is slowly coming. The sun starts to rise a little and breach over, but you know, you reckon even as people are getting up, you're still entitled to your few hours worth of additional catch up. So where are you? Play catch up. You just get up if everyone wants to take that aforementioned long rest. Uh, I talk to the guys that on watch and see if any of them heard anything out of the far gab. Uh, Clifton, you can also do your spells in this time as well. Yeah, Bill says, Renard, you walk that. Oh, do you mean the guys as in these guys or the guys as in a yeah. mile back? These guys. Uh, I don't know that the guys a mile back have a far gab. The crew here. Use some damage. Damage, 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 damage. You all took watch. It was Revel and. Revel and Exodus. Exodus? You uh -huh. guys uh, managed to get anything out of the far gab? It's kind of bothered me. Um. Just things about a patrol, whatnot. People dying in stupid ways. Hmm. Are you? Seems to be right on the edge of the range. I'm wondering if we should hike, take a little bit, and I'm say go east or west a little bit, see if we can get him in range. I know who know it is. The gullies where water once was, it's now dry today. Dry and arid. No need for that D10 roll today, guys. Good. How the fuck is oh that's always prepared. Uh real quick. Uh Jalen, when you said about people dying in stupid ways, did you mean the guy that jumped into the shark's mouth? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um He didn't die. <laughs> oh it was, a sh it was a shark nado reference. Oh <laughs> except chainsaws don't exist. Always assume I'm hmm. referencing something. It's my whole personality. It's gonna lift up the 4K monitor real quick and squash this in there. There we go. Damn, why didn't I do that in the past? There we go. So, yep. You hear the information of people dying in stupid ways and patrols around. So, mm. Anyone else wishing to do anything before we set out on another glorious day's worth of travel? I'm doing my, uh, my spells real quick. Uh, Exus would look to Renard and say, So, I, uh, I took a little jaunt to the, the waterway. Mm. Okay. And... He would gesture to where he would sheath Razor at on his weapon. I mean, on his person. No, seeing that it's not there. Hmm. Okay. Was I aware of his connection with this weapon? Or is this all... You were... You were aware he had the weapon. And if you cast your mind back, I want to see roundabout session 10-ish you were aware that the weapon had an evil about it when you used your divine senses and you warned him against it you know that if he was going to take it there could be something nefarious about it and you know you've seen him use it before um as for it being sentient i do not believe he ever told you he did i'm pretty sure he did he, he talked to it on occasion I clap Rebel my hand on his shoulder and say, I'm not sorry that it's gone, brother. I hope that it never returns. What happened with this sword? Did it break? No, it was evil. Okay. And it wanted me to make a choice. 
between good and evil. And as much as I enjoyed the power of the blade and what I knew it could grow into, I know that it would eventually have me at odds with the rest of you. And I simply value all more than a blade. Maybe just a little bit. Hmm. I'm glad you chose us. Yeah. We're going to have to kill whoever the blade finds next, potentially. <laughs> Cross that bridge when we come to it. Rebel was going to say, I dabble in such things, you know. And I am in need of a sword. <laughs> Looking at uh, Renard's sword still on his hip. <laughs> you know you got to give that back. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Change the subject again. <laughs> <laughs> So, guys, how about if, breakfast? If you get your hands on that blade, I'll cut off your fingers, dude, and then we'll have another blade again. Well, what? What fingers? These, and he holds up his hands, completely devoid of fingers. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I've never had fingers. Did you not know that? How have you been holding blades? I don't know, man. Magic? You've oh never had fingers. What? Never. <laughs> going to inspect his nubs. I feel like it's, it's, just a, it's just a it's just a palm, man. How have you it's been casting palm. spells? I've been saying incantations. You need your fingers too. I don't I don't do somatic spells. Oh. How have you been I holding I not know this. How have you not ha how have you been <laughs> holding Renard's weapon? There's, there's no magic on this earth that would allow you to just hold this weapon. There is. What's, what is it called, though? What's the spell? Mage Hand. You have not been casting Mage Hand this entire time. Says who? Have you been watching, been watching, watching spells you? Cast? I've been watching you. That's pretty weird, man. Uh, yeah, Rebel. Can I make a history check? Rebel, do a favor. <laughs> Rebel's just shape shifting. Rebel, <laughs> uh, uh, Rebel, do me a favor. Private GM, roll me one d twenty. Okay. <laughs> Wait, this was all in game. Yep. Mhm. Mm oh, none of what I said was in. I was asking you genuinely. Uh okay. Exodus, you can make the uh, relevant check if you want. If it's persuasion, that's plus five. Would this be insight or history to see if it would be insight to tell if he's lying or history to tell that he's had fingers before this? Insight to see if he's lying, history, you know, history if you wanted to cast your mind back. However, really only ever seen him do spells apart from Green Flame Blade, but. See. I believe this, him. This man was born without fingers. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> a, how, long, how long have you not had fingers? Like, were you born with no fingers? Uh, I used to steal a lot, so uh, it just disappeared, man. People cut them off. Clif Taught me uh, not to steal. Can't steal without fingers. Clifton's no heaven any yet. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quiet. No, Clifton still failed. No. Because, because they're not persuasion? Deception. No, deception. Deception. Oh, hold on. I uh, know, I asked for a D20 yeah. and then I added your modifier on, so. Okay, yeah. Clifton's not having any of it. <laughs> He's just like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not asking anything and I'm not saying it. I'm just looking at this like maybe he has his reasons. <laughs> <laughs> You've been fingerless, you know? Yeah. For, uh, oh, You're fine, you. I guess I'll, if I catch you wielding that blade, I'll cut off your wrists. Maybe he has magic gloves that allow him to regrow his fingers. He's not like your wrist, right? He's like, what? He's like, what wrist? He... <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> what says you saw? Walking through this wasteland, having a jovial laugh, may I may I request a singular D twenty from someone? I got it. The guy with no hands. <laughs> Oop, that's D twenty. I gonna roll a D twenty with no hands. <laughs> Just kick flips it. What are you talking about? And I've had hands this whole time. Use. You can go on. Use. He's gonna get. He's gonna no. gaslight him. You're gonna start hearing all manner of strange and odd noises around this particular area. Can I have a D10, please? It's, you know, a D10. Start being D10. All show. How's that for D10? Well, once he's, you know, he's coming. This, this belayed carcass, this body that seems to be drawn out for some time. Definitely, you know, if you would cut yourself a bit of the skin off, you definitely got yourself some humanoid jerky. Um, is it an elf? Is it a human? Well, it's not a kender or a dwarf, but, you know, it doesn't narrow the field down anymore. The armor mm. is wasted. You can tell that it's been hit with all manner of salt water left to the elements and such. And body, you can see, and then it's chest cavity. There is just a small bag. Looks like it was one C satchel that it may have held on its back and when it died it fell back slowly over time the rot death and decay has come on and well the bag that was on its back is now in its rib cage because that's how decay works um I'm guessing, I'm guessing uh, he doesn't need the bag anymore could be right could be wrong who knows for your uh, donation. If there's uh, like rations and stuff that he didn't eat in the bag, I want them. You walking up to said bag? I don't like that question. I need to know what you're doing. Maybe I'll you start narrating shit. Um, is, is the bag moving or anything like that? Not quite that you can see. I just see. heard there was a rotting body. Not quite that you can see. There's an awful lot of heat, so that heat mirage definitely doesn't make things easy. Uh, go ahead, bro. Perception mm. check to be safe. Okay. You said he was just flayed there. Put a bag in his chest. <laughs> you said uh, perception. It seems to have a little bit of movement to it, but there is also a little bit of wind. This may be correlation, this may be causation. What do you guys think? It's just a corpse there, right? Just a corpse, yeah, a corpse yeah. in a bag, that's... Okay, yeah. Over sure, I'll walk over to the bag, yeah. So sure, I'll look at the bag. Well, see, over, overhead there is, you know, you hear all manner of noises, and overhead there are, you know, Comically, half around circling vultures. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna grab the little bag. It's warm. It's been there for some time. You can feel that it's it's weathered as well. The soft leather is hard and almost crunchy. Been met with salt, heat, and air. It's a nice bag, or it probably was. Ah, bollocks. Ooh. 
was silent for just a bit too long. the haters will sabotage me. It was just a bit too silent for a bit and too And rightly so. Yeah. You, you were frozen like half the So, uh, let's see. Oh, just... the rest of that outfit. <laughs> let's uh, run about for you. <laughs> the little bag, as you kind of pick it up, you hold it, it's warm because it's a warm day. It's also very dry and, you know, there would have been a pattern or such on there for quite some time, but it's worn and weathered thanks to the weather, the salt, the rain, all manner have been left to the elements. See, nice soft leather is, uh, you know, old and frayed and hard and crunchy. Oh, it's a small bag. Yeah, you know, I'd say small. You're maybe looking, you know, it's about okay, the size, um... of, size of two footballs, real world footballs, not freedom footballs. Are you talking about soccer balls, or are you talking about footballs? I'm talking about the footballs that are called footballs everywhere else in the world. Okay, so you're talking about soccer balls. <laughs> okay. I ain't talking about your freedom balls. Your your eggs. <laughs> well, you know, I prefer to call them testicles. But if, if that's okay with you, then we'll call them freedom balls. <laughs> Or eggs, as you... Whenever, as you, whenever one of those fly through the air, all I hear is, Oh, say, can you see? By the door. Um, I think you know, there was actually like a time in my youth when, like, I was supposed to be catching a football, and shocker, people with disfigured hands can't really catch too well initially. And I was quite literally thinking of the star... I spaced out, started thinking of the Star Spangled Banner, and got hit in the face. Mm. So as you open it up, you know, you're expecting all manner of goodies. And you're going to open it up. You're going to watch as this torrent of spiders and insects seem to fly out. You're going to cover over and shiver. For those of us who don't quite like many disturbing things, that's about as far as I will go. But, you know. You comically get covered in spiders for a moment before they all seem to fly off, and as you look in the bag, it is all mulch, and it, it's essentially compost. You could put a seed in there in about a week's time, come back, and there will be flowers. I just hated it so much that it grew wings to get away. Okay. Oh, that's disgusting. So gross. So gross. <laughs> Yeah, but like, whenever that happens, Rebels is gonna go, ah! <laughs> like, fling away the bag. Like, try to get the spiders patting off. Like, patting them off. Even if there's not still spiders on him, he's just gonna. You know? The fear that there is one as opposed to knowing for certain. He's gonna watch this <laughs> little bag takes air, and it eclipses the sun for a moment before it just. splat. It mm. doesn't smell too nice either as you do kind of get a whiff of it. It's been there a while. Spiders are great. The spiders are amazing. Now Rebel's going to work on a spell called Eliminate All Spiders. It's going to be level 9. Actually, that's going to be a wish spell. You're going to wish all spiders didn't exist. To think a 1 could have been the possible worst thing ever, and in fact it's the most comical. <laughs> as you swiftly move on. Eventually, you come to a camp. I like that. It's a rather nice camp. It's a very good camp. And I realize I don't quite have your tokens on here, and I probably didn't activate the right type of... Yep, no token lighting, no extreme illumination. Call me a smarty pants. Boop. Bang. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Yep. 
Is you, are no Renard's hit points still lowered? Renard, you, no. you've not been feeling. No, you. Your hit points. I did a long rest and it came back to fifty-eight. It should be lowered. I sent uh, you sent you the thing that gives you the conditions. Yep. Oh, that was very Bernard, uh, still not feeling too good. Yeah, walking. Kind of myself, though. Walking groggy. Mm. Mm. Just winces when he walks. Tries not to say anything. That means that. Let's see. I'm gonna help out Renard anyway. And give him a shoulder to lean on. Okay. A neck to put her arm around. Like crutch. As we uh. walk. <clears throat> Well, since he's come to this particular area, there are a manner of tents built up. You can see patrols off throughout. No one seems to have noticed you as yet, however. Nobody's how big is this? Uh, how big is this uh, camp? There's a rather large and colourful tent off to one end with smoke billowing from it. You can tell this could be, you know, akin to like what you could class as like a chieftain's tent, if you will. And then there's about maybe four or so little tents off to the side as well. The area... Oh, this was supposed to be sea elf territory. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was me coming to a realisation. So, how do you wish to approach this? Okay. How, how do you guys want to approach this? We can, uh, I'm guessing sneaking would be... Uh, I could go invisible and just, you know, take a jaunt over there. Is there like an entrance? And this is essentially a channeled gorge that spreads out, so there is a very clear defined entrance. Say we just go the entrance. I don't think we have to sneak. This, these RCLs that we're seeing down here, right? Not dragonoids or. They're humanoids. Dragon army. They're humanoids. You have an idea that it may be the. You know, it's humanoids, yes. Um, as to whether or not it's Dragon Army, not too sure. It has been just over a week since you last um, encountered the Sea Elf. This is the place that he circled, right? Yeah, this is the place he circled. Mm. I draw Clifton aside and have a private conversation with him. I tried to listen into that conversation. My question comes: Is RJ here to have this conversation? RJ is here. Um, yes. Then it's, you know, you are lightly pulled aside by Renard. What's going on? Well, I just that long rest last night didn't seem to do anything. To help me from the effects of our encounter yesterday with that whatever it was at the gate. I don't feel what like exactly has been ailing you. You feel less than. Oh uh, yeah, I just you know I took some good hits there, fighting him, and it's just mm. I don't feel any better. Let me try something for you, my friend. Who I have here. I'm saying that to myself. Um, all right. So first, we are going to try. We want to try a little healing word. See if that does anything. This is kind of a test. You whisper off the healing word as everyone else is watching what's going on. Exodus trying to, you know, get a touch on both, making sure he's definitely part of both conversations here. 
a you know, the feel feel the warmth of the healing word and for the briefest of moment it does seem to elate the pains before they just seem to come striking back. Hmm. Oh, you feel now. Relief. Wait, wait, the, the pain came striking back. Yeah. I had a very brief point of relief and then it's just... Oh, I thought you just said re back. relief in, in general. Okay. Um, in that case, we will try this. Uh, la, 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 la. He's gonna put my hand on him, speak in tongues, and like, you shall be healed. Walk, walk in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Evangelical. <laughs> you gonna give this up, Bernard? You feel, you know, I feel your stamina of all things comes back. You breathe the world's freshest air for the first time in the world. You know, it's been a while. Last time you had air this fresh, you was but a baby. You know, your, <laughs> your hearing seems to... You know, so you hear tones you haven't heard in a while. Your vision all of a sudden, whoa, right there. You see everything clearly. You see in 4K. God damn, what did I do to him? <laughs> but the, I cured him of the illness of death. <laughs> I cured him of old age. <laughs> Yeah. The, not old. <laughs> this is Dragonlands. Being 30 is old. <laughs> but the pain, it's still there. Dragon. Oh, damn. But in character, do you feel anything at all? Has, has everything resolved? No, it's, it's still... It's like an ache, I just can't shake. Mm, in that case... Let's see what else I have. What else I got in my bag? That's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it. Um. Hmm. Come on, Rev, as I once again have forgotten to add. Wait, have I? Well, either way, I'm trying to think of what it might be. I know, I'm looking at something, but I, uh. Could I, could I roll medicine and or arcana to kind of figure out if there's anything I can ascertain about his, uh, yeah, about yeah. the nature uh, of everything? Give you a medicine check. Alright. Someone read me that number, I took my glasses off at the wrong time. Eighteen. Eighteen? Um, you can ascertain that the magic that you have used and the restoration you have given needs to be greater. Ah! Ah! <laughs> That, that clears things up. <laughs> now, unfortunately, um, what if I were to tell you I don't have access to that spell this level? I'm aware. Yeah. I'm going to um, do my medicine, check my, my physical real quick, and put some reflexes on the knee, and <laughs> I take off my imaginary stuff with go, because I don't know if they have them in this world. I'm going to say... Deep breath. Deep breath. In all... In all of my knowledge, expertise, and experience, which beyond non-magical means is not very great, I am still new to this, and there aren't many people I can look to to learn, but I know currently this is not within my power. This feels like something I need to be a bit stronger and more capable to handle, but I'm not entirely sure when that would be. Okay. Um, I appreciate your you trying. Well, maybe find someone here in this camera that can help. I 
will say just for yourself um, the wording states the spell and then it says or other magic and I've been frantically looking for what the fuck it means by other magic oh look at that what the fuck can I do like I can do can I do shadow divinity but like it, it only heals it doesn't heal status or anything like that oh. I would just say anything stronger that's what it means by other magic Anything stronger than lesser restoration that isn't just hit points is not within my capability besides curses. I thought Leo and mm. Hands may be able to assist, but it looks like uh, you can only burn five to do away with poisons or such. So it's, it's gimped lesser restoration. It's 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 restoration. Here's the thing: we're in a world where clerics are brand new to the place. Are we going to find a cleric capable of doing? Yeah, but, um, Revel says you all can stay up here and watch. If they uh, if they attack him, he can get out easily. But you know, he's gonna walk through. He's gonna walk through the front gate and say who sent him and says, uh, uh, "Don't the problem." I'm gonna ask real quick to see if we're looking at Exodus. Can I have a perception check, please? No, fuck you. Yeah, no, I have a perception check. I'll I'll make a. Perception 13. You've seen some of the magics that were used before. Um, you can ascertain that maybe Clifton was showing the extent of his magic to Renard. Maybe there's something wrong with Renard. The exact reason for this pulling aside conversation is quite unclear. Hushed tones in magic. The magic is different to the darkened magic that you use. Uh, Exus will pretend that he heard everything and uh, if they returned, he would give a nod and say, uh, Renard, I hope you got that rash cleared up. <laughs> I mean, I think we cleared up everything including the rash, but we need to be cleared up. Rash. Yeah, can't stop itching. The knowledge I'm glad is that clear. I'm trying to think of like what random illness I, cle I cleared with lesser restoration that Syphilis. he didn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Renard, we told you about those kenders. Uh huh. It's what not really it laughing, man. I'm just trying to make light, keep things light. Yeah. As you approach this camp, Revel, you can. Open your arms, walking in nonchalantly, and you say, "Oh, um, do we know the name of the elf that sent us here? I believe we asked. I believe it was given. Does it mean I remember? Give me a sec. Ah, <laughs> uh, da 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 da. Yirkel. Yirkel." I um I guess I'm going to approach a guy. Yeah. Can I just move? Yeah, yeah, you should be able to move. Uh you know, brazenly walk into this encampment. You're gonna see his elves seem to turn as they look they can't quite you know they don't quite notice anything. I speak I speak calm at first. I was like uh, I was told by a sea elf called Yirkel that you all had some information that I could possibly use, or that you could possibly use. I apologize for intrusion as well. He kind of watches off on the cliff edge here. This kind of elf turns round. Hold on. Oh, it's yourselves. Oh, he's so. here. Cool. <laughs> it's easy. Huh? Yeah. Here goes. That's your girl's voice. Can I hear this whistle off on and from out upon the side of this tent? You watch as this other sea elf. 
comes forth. You can tell that this is the man in charge. This is the big cheese. This is the full Parmesan wheel. Parmesan wheel. <laughs> Love Parmesan in here. Watch. Is he gonna walks out? Ah, uh, yes. We have been told so much about you. How can we help? Indians? All right. Um, what was that? Hmm? Indians? No, I was really going for Icelandic, so I have totally fucked it. Oh, he's looking for uh, you who? I can see it. I can see it. I can see Icelandic. I don't see Indian. I got you. Look at you, just like look at you. Oh. So you who pick some of them out? I think I'm a Swedish. That's all. Oh, <laughs> Um. Okay, so that. we're tracking down. Uh, what is it? A ghost? To put it in simple terms. Mm. And Lord Soft. And Lord Soft. He's definitely mm -hmm. undead, but he's not a ghost, and he's not a zombie. Not a, a so we're, we're hunting down an undead, uh, and we're looking for Man's got to be a place to be called, to that would be the Lost City. Does this uh, Lost City have a name? Sorry, I'm still checking the Lord Sothling. You got me question. So you have lost names yet. I'm checking the Lord Sothling. Like, what the fuck does he get classed as? <laughs> <laughs> Say of lost names, yeah. He's gonna looks a death knight. Oh Lord. I mean, I know, I know what he's classed as in terms of like player. He's uh, I'm not gonna give that away, but like undead death knight. That's about it. I fucking knew it! <laughs> zombie -ish. He's 300 years old, man. He's human. Huh? He's undead, that's why. Uh, let's see. So. Not for long. As he looks. Hmm. <laughs> There's not much that I do no, but maybe a god could guide your way. A what? A god. What's... huh? Uh, I, I speak a little bit of Sylvan. Their god. That's <laughs> what I was saying in his ear. What's that? <laughs> What's that? The gods the god gave me my powers. You kind of say that, you're going to watch as he takes a step back. A godly powers? I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. I ask her, who is your god? I'm going to fuck this name up <laughs> with absolute impunity. I'ma fuck this name up. Well, that's a fun one. No. No way in hell. I'm gonna double check that real quick because there's two that it could be. And I'm not going to give you one in case it's wrong because that makes things fun. It's a 50 50 That's chance. Man. Put her put balls up. Uh, boom, boom, boom. See, uh, pretty good. The god is. The Sea Lord. 
Ah, there we go. The Sea Lord. Every year we make a pilgrimage. Maybe if you make an offering, he will point you in the way. You know the way. Do you know the way? <laughs> Do you know the way? I'm not making the CLs African. <laughs> I feel really bad making those. <laughs> Tomb of Annihilation is going to be so hard. <laughs> uh, I will give my clerical paladins a religion check to make an eye. I knew there was two of them. I'll give you a some I mean, high-ish religion check on it if you wish. I mean, can I make a religion check oh, as well? DC I'll roll, higher. but I'm not good. Hmm? The only I reason you. I have a plus eight in religion. Really? Name? Uh, give a plus what? The name I have given, like a plus eight in religion. The name given was and you don't the, even got. The name given was the C. The what? Oh. Your character was the one going. What? What's God? To, to, to make a. Rough. No, he doesn't. He doesn't believe in them, to but make, he's studied them. To make a rough estimated <laughs> guess, I'm gonna be a religion check. Okay. Yeah, there's more. Like, there's more like you healing. I don't heal. I attack. I know when you need healing, you will believe. Oh. I mean, I'm an acolyte. Uh, oh, make it's more like. I wouldn't call what you yours is as a guy. It's more like a sugar daddy, but like. No, I mean, I study it. It's like <laughs> it's I mean, I study theology. It's, it's like mythology, right? Like, so, something like that. Could yeah, it's all, it's all myth to Rebel. He doesn't know he's like a god. Are you serious? You're talking about I mean, a unicorn? Like, it, I mean, they were, they were gone for a minute. It could be. What are they magically back? Where'd they go? Motherfucker! That's the one to speak. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's huh? I'm sorry. I will walk to. I will walk to Washington. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> you reckon either Habakkuk or maybe Haduckle? Yes. Haduckle. One or the other. Um, definitely on opposite ends of the spectrum. These two gods, however. Mm. Um, what are their, I do I know, first one. What was that? I'm thinking they worship whichever one is good. I would definitely be familiar with the first one, he's one of the gods of the Knights of Salamnia. Habakkuk, Adolf. you would be familiar with being his relation as brother to Kir Joloth. So, yeah, he, he is the good god, I'm not too sure if he is a god of the Salamnic Knights. Oh. Uh, if you say yes, you say he is though. I will go with you on this one. You are my Wikipedia. Would I be familiar with either one? I don't think I would, but... You're just amazed that, like, a god has decided to let you cast spells. I'm just like, wow. For you, so celebrities do poop. <laughs> Women do fart. Oh. Who knew? <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. They fart all right. Come in. He's, you know. You saved a friend. The gods would already smile upon you. Maybe they would uh, point you in the right direction. <laughs> Worth a shot. He's gonna places his hand out. My name is Ishvan. Ishvan Stargazer. And you are? Mm. I'm Renard the Bell. I can't even remember how my old name is. <laughs> Renard of Eldor. I'm the Knight of the Crown of Salon. Knight of the Crown. I'm Knight of the Sword. I can't remember crap. Wait, should I introduce myself? Can if you want. Oh, I am Clifton Drumain. I am a wanderer of sorts and a collector of medical knowledge. Yeah. 
gives you a little bit of side eye. So. Down. Follow. He's going to watch as they stretch their arms out and just immediately run towards the cliff edge and just jumps. I do the Both same. Let's go. After a minute, you can hear you. Always. <laughs> into the water. Oh, oh, thank God. I'm gonna. I'm still gonna go over and look to see if he's swimming, but I'm going to run over. Like, like I guess before I hear the um, before I hear the splash, depending on how long that is, if I have time to say this, I will say. What? No. Do it, sir. Rebel has. Rebel has no hesitation whatsoever. <laughs> Not no fucking guns at cannonball. <laughs> Went to the, the salty war. This is ocean war. No, I'm gonna melt. No. I, after trepidation, I would say that Melano more than likely follows, because Melano. <laughs> Are we wait, jumping? Wait, wait, wait. Our... wait why? Sorry, go jumping. ahead. <clears throat> I'm going to 100 pounds of armor on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm... I'm... I'm carrying a lot of shit. Hmm. How do I see my weight? Carrying weight? Carrying... Like how much I'm... Is all of the elves jump in? Uh... Only your boy Eshvern jumped in. And this was a reaction to what? After I missed that part. Uh, truthfully, I missed that part as well. Yeah, I um, I, I don't know why they're jumping in. The hell? He said, uh, he said follow. <laughs> yeah, he said follow and then jumped into the water. Yeah. Is there like a way down and maybe a boat? Nope, jump. Is it... Scottish, is my pack waterproof? Your pack? Yes. I mean, everything that you're holding in your backpack, you know, it's, it's going to get wet. However, barring the torches, which you haven't really used, you know, everything else will be fine. The torches maybe take a day or two to dry out at most. As long as it's recoverable. Yeah. What, what can I do to help those of us that have armor? Rebel did like seven flips going coming down here. How many? How, oh, very oh, oh. Scottish. Yeah. I, I I still have a spell I haven't prepared. Which is? I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, no, I, I haven't prepared. Can I? Can I prepare a spell for the day? Uh, you can, if I recall yourself, you are cleric level <laughs> plus your wisdom three six. You can prepare nine spells. So yeah, uh, you got one more spell. Go ahead. Yeah. You don't know what you're up against, so it's not like a case of... Um, it's not like I'm going to say, oh, that's a bit meta, Gamey. Because you literally have no yeah. idea what's to come. Oh, good. Okay. As How long, long as it's not time? water walk or water breathe, because you're in water now, son. <laughs> oh, I didn't... Oh, I... Oh, damn. I didn't jump, but that is metagaming if I, brought, if I do water walk. But you know you're going to have um, water, so... You said what? You know you're going into water here. So you can, I'd say you can ascertain there's probably water involved. Hmm. So I can't do it. Any other spell I'll give you, just, um, not something related to the current. That's fine. Okay, I'll pick something else, though. So, Rebel, you're gonna get in the water cold, cool, salty and refreshing. You seem to bob a bit as you're in there, though. It's gonna... You see I will pick. leans back, waiting to see who else follows. You would uh, gesture. What's your character's name again? Me? Uh, yeah. Clifton. Oh, Clifton, yeah, that's it. You would gesture Clifton over, standing near the edge. Wait, you what? You go to gesture. Exodus is standing near the edge, and he's gonna gesture Clifton over. 
Oh, I mean... Oh, I don't even know if I can... I don't think I can float. Salt water. You can, you can float with salt oh, yeah. water. Buoyancy. Wonderful. 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 You taste I have to water. trust the process. A jump. Do you can have I, I would like to dive and not hit the water like a pancake. <laughs> Do you give off the most elegant and beautiful swimmer's dive and under and up immediately. It, feel, it feels good, let's be honest here. This is cool. This is nice. The desert being warm, cracked and added. This is a this is a cold shower on a hot summer's day. Shame about the salt. Oh, I had a but, bath. Shame about the salt, but what can you do about it? Mm. Um, so thirsty right now. Ashwell gonna looks up. Come on. Waves his hands. Uh, I just would get a running start for trying to upshow everyone and do like fifty backflips and twists and turns. I would like to make a performance check. Don't He's gonna reach terminal. He reaches a terminal velocity going down. Let me, let me. I have to step away from my phone to do this. Let me. Let's see it. That one. Come on, baby. Come on, that one. Yeah, probably pretty good. He's gonna watch as he runs, he swan dives it back, does a nice little flipping turn and hands right down just parting in straight off the turn. You see, very minimal splashes somewhere off up on high. Revel sits, no Revel. Fane sits there with a old man, Bryn, and a giant, almost minotaur-looking creature as they give a little golf clap and hold little signs up before straight back down. <laughs> solid, solid seven. Solid, solid six, mate. Seven. Not his best work. He knows Fane could do better, but, you know, he's there. <laughs> I'm going to be away from the computer for a minute, but I can solidly roleplay now that I've done at least the bare minimum of my math work for the day. Sure. I'm going to make Alfredo now. And he watches everyone seems to be jumping in, and he's going to hear the voice from down under. <laughs> Come on! I'll drown in a second. Oh, wait, go yeah. under? Jump in the water? I have to get all my armor off first. How deep is this water? It's, it's salty water, what do you think? But it's salty water, but it's still one of your gullied ravines here in the northern mm -hmm. west, so... It is only about 30 foot deep, given that the... Given that the wash hasn't come in, and it's been quite a warm day. You know, the, the wash hasn't yeah. come in for two days, but this area is still quite high up, as you can see there is a thick line of green algae. Now these are down here. A thick line of nice green algae. This water seems to at least be at this level constantly, regardless of the wash. Mm. Mm. <sighs> well, if anything's over over six foot six inches, it's going to drown me, so I have to take my armor off before I come <laughs> jump in the water. You got great strength. It's all right. In your constitution, you'll drown in... Four What's minutes. Your, uh, four minutes. D&D oh. drowning is so weird. One minute plus... One minute plus one minute for every point in Constitution. So, like, <laughs> theoretically, you can hold your breath for five minutes whilst in combat. <laughs> like, that's just nuts. <laughs> I don't feel like leaving my company. You can bring it with you. Undressed. I guess I've got to carry it. I might as well wear it. Bring it with me. It'll still weigh me down. You're with sea elves. It's okay. Oh, is it? I don't know sea elves from sea urchins. <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. Renard is really afraid that because of his period... 
the, the blood will soak the water and everyone will know. Oh, ow. I'm going to jump sword out. I'm coming right down on top of the... <laughs> no, no, no. The biggest the issue, the biggest right issue is that his hometown of Eldor, it too met a, met a watery grave. And well, whilst he wants to bring honour to his home, he doesn't want to join it quite yet. Not quite yet. Maybe in 10 to 15 years' time. I, took, I talked to the CEO standing next to me and I asked him, um, what am I jumping into? You are up sea water of the ocean and then after a brief mm, five minute swim, you will be taken to the entrance to uh, the shrine. From there, uh, from there, Ishvan will make an offering, and maybe you could make an offering, and maybe the gods will point you. The water is deep, but rest assured, if anything does happen to you, we will jump in to save you. That would have been a nice reassurance, you know, earlier. Uh, you got something to help me breathe underwater? You can swim on the surface. You don't need to go under. Not with all of this. I'm not <laughs> I put gesturing to my armor. You can. I sink right to the bottom. You know what she takes the sort of one of the spare bolts of cloth that he has and kind of places it out. Andres. Andres. I meant to ask you, Scott, because you said I'd be okay. Chainmail is fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chainmail quick pulls. Okay. He said slip. What's chainmail what? Chainmail is technically porous. Lots of holes yeah. for water to get through. Swimming in D&D Swimming in D&D with water on it and heavy armor on is weird as well. Chainmail still weighs 55 pounds. There's rules for swimming in heavy armor? What? Yeah, you can die. Movement rules in chapter 8. Movement rules for armor in D&D &D only come into effect if you enter combat in that water. Uh oh. Which is <laughs> dumb. For movement... It's essentially, regardless of whether you wear an armor or not, if you don't have a swimming speed, it's just um, as long as you're not encumbered. So yeah, mm. that's the question you would need to ask, are you encumbered? If, if, oh, not, yeah, can you... if not, you will float. Encumbered. Bar the uh, your it's shape. It's like your strength. Are you talking about 100% encumbered? Yeah, if you're like over encumbered, then that's when you have mm. issues. So I can your strength in score times whatever is stuff. how much you can power. actually carry. You can jump in wearing 144.4 pounds of materials, and by the rules of this game, you will float. Oh. Or okay. you can strip down, your choice, you know. No, cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna look at the elf who's just sitting there, standing there, smiling, pointing to the little tap, you know, tapestry, telling you to strip, and you're like, nah, fuck Remember. this. He's, he's all watches a Renard eclipses the sun for a moment before. He's good, Renard, you're gonna just up to the surface, just, you know, wet. But fine. As I don't want to use the important. Forgive me for using real world physics on all, on this. No, no, no. <laughs> oh no, sir. Believe me, it fucking weird. I would have expected that as well. But <clears throat> to be fair, I thought you were wearing plate mail. <laughs> that's why I, I was don't like. Have plate mail yet. That's why I was like, oh, he's been really cautious because he's wearing something that could fill up. I thought he was wearing plate mail too. You're such a really high AC man. <laughs> but yeah. 
as you swim along the embankment. After a while, you see small carving on the rocks. Do, 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 do. It's a rather odd carving. It looks almost like a bird. Cool. And this particular looking bird. I like to have a thing, I just gotta get the thing to show you the thing for the thing. Gotta go welcome to Crin. And then City of Calaman. Nope, nope, nope. Dinner, fucking. Is it a kingfisher? Uh, no, because that was a fish. No. Kingfisher? The kingfisher was a fish. No, no. We won't uh, I'm thinking of, are we thinking of the festival at the beginning of this? Um, I'm not thinking of that. I'm thinking of the symbol of the Knights of Salamnia. The, the Kingfisher Festival in Vogler? Well, no, that is a little bird. No, no, no. Um, it's not showing there. More like a phoenix. A okay. blue phoenix. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Uh, image on the right hand side. <clears throat> this is where you kind of watch as Ishwin looks. We go under, and then we come straight back up. You're going to watch as he dives straight under. And Four, you're gonna see as he goes down, and then almost like an Olympic swimmer does come straight back up, but behind this stony rocked facade. These are in this gully in the northern waste, the sun beaming and beating down. What the? What, what? What, 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 what? What's what? A gully? Sorry, the sun? The you. water? Nah, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I just saw images on my screen. Esperan says that we go under. You're going to watch as he goes under and kind of vanishes behind the rock facade. This huge rock seems to have this painted formation of a blue phoenix. Exodus would follow. Okay. Yep. Um. Revo goes. <gasps> he goes under. Yep. Okay. Right. Oh. Let me come through. Uh, no. And under. You eventually. I feel bad for you, this guy. You basically come up, and you do use soon end up walking go from swimming to walking and the water is only about two foot deep so it's only about up to your knees by the time you're done. As you do, you come to this ancient algae covered double door made of white granite. It's etched with the eroded image of a majestic bird with its wings spread open see the image that I showed you earlier. As it does, um, my clerical paladins, use can if you wish, make a religion check on this. The book gives well, a DC, so I'm going. Somebody help, I can't see! Wait, don't these... L I, I know... Never mind, I know why we're making a check. I just... I just can't... can't see that, tell me. Okay. Uh, am I able to am I able to religion it up again? And your words, you can't see. No. Oh. Can I roll? Oh. I can't see. I, oh, you guys I, are I, actually I, in so much luck. 
I have dark vision and an accolade. I have proficiency in religion. Oh yeah, I can't see either. We're all blind. Um, I can see. The area all around is actually perpetually and constantly lit. Ooh, with that's a what I like. blue gleam. A blue continual gleam. So yeah. Um, Y'all can see. My bad. This is why we read Matthew. <laughs> Anything above it is 18. Um, let's see. That's what I like to see. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, 100% these are the good guys. This is the god. This is the god Habakkuk. A hundred percent. You don't need to worry. Sigh of relief. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Ooh. Rebel just goes. Oh, it's Habakkuk. Sorry, who's the cook? <laughs> Habakkuk, apparently. Uh, and I. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I'm going to here as well. Check my. Two. Uh, I'm gonna grab a quick light here because I feel it'll be very useful for you to have. As I click on provides vision, you should always be able to see the wind rose in the bottom left hand side now. But yeah. Um, let's see. Fun fact as you kind of come to this new do you know your good friend here Ishwan you know looks and there's a prayer that is said that opens the door but I don't know what it is and as Revel then looks and goes oh, that's Habakkuk <coughs> the door's open the magic word was Habakkuk <laughs> is that supposed to happen? Yes. <laughs> now, the door is open by seeing a specific player. He, prayer. He doesn't know it. If a character says the name Habakkuk within ten foot of the door, uh, it opens. What's up? <laughs> it swings open magically. Ah <laughs> oh, man, you just can't make this shit up. So, I must have some kind of knife. I don't know. Revel is just fucking Deus Ex Machina. As you enter into this room here, a long room stretches ahead. The walls carved with motifs of rolling waves. The ceiling supported by twin pillars glowing with a faint blue light. At the rear of the chamber stands an altar carved with coral-like designs. Behind it raises a sizable granite sculpture depicting a bird from the shrine's entrance. Its outstretched wings feathered in flames. An archway opens to a chamber to the west, while a simple stone door stands in the wall to the east. As you look here, most of this place, the ceiling is about 15 foot high. The shrine is brightly, brightly lit by a blue, almost like a continual flame spell. Uh, Revel, you would know this shit. You're, you know, you're here to do The walls and doors. <laughs> All made of solid stone, except from the door that you just walked through. Um, but everything else seems rather easy to open as you look at it. The water here, it is only about two foot tall. Uh, it classes itself as difficult terrain in the event that you get into a fight. Yay. <coughs> Rather goes, I'm fighting for death. <laughs> I want it. Uh, Mr. DM, yeah. would this be a uh, would this be a, um an acceptable place to search for goodies or no? No. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> but I'm doing this. I have the squad here for most of the session. Let's see, um, I'd have a look at what's going on. Here. We'll see. Can I taste this water here and see if it's uh, salt water as well in the fountain? We'll see before we get to that as. Ishran kind of walks over into this place that you did as well. Uh, he's gonna looks 
at the water and you kind of place your hand in and give it a little you know a little <laughs> it's a it's very clean clear almost mineral water none of that bald stuff some of that good mountain stuff it does you watch well, I, it, your park was meant to be before they went big you know watch this uh our friend Ishburn here gonna start cupping the water and you know almost washing himself over and kind of looks it's tradition I okay I I do the I same thing as him to... I also fill up my water skin while I'm here yep yep yeah, the same I will do the same as well, seeing that everybody else is doing the thing, and I'm like, this must be the right thing to do. Where's Exodus? Right here. He's losing. Sorry, I was, my, my phone's dying, so I have to move between the computer and the phone oh. if I want to move. That's cool. Did we roll for stats? Yes. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, why don't I have a single stat below 10? <laughs> I was looking at myself. Even if you took standard array, you'd still have a, sen a single stat below 10. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm wondering, so I'm seeing if we rolled for them. It makes more sense now. Is yes, you can have. Everyone starts washing themselves over X. That's what you did. Um. It's been relatively quiet. I'm watching. Um, I was there another pool of water that people were filling their cantinas with. Same pool of water that people are just kind of cupping and uh, washing themselves with. Mm, I won't refill it here. It's good stuff, I promise. Salt water, and I, I doubt the sea elves haven't like you know dropped a turd in this water before, <laughs> like a fucking fish. <laughs> but it's a holy place, man. Yeah, he's just gonna wait and wait to uh, see what the offerings they can provide would be. Let's see. As you watch, as he finish washing himself, the CL starts making his way. Towards the altar. As you are in this room, oh. the center of the room nests a three foot high brass basin filled with clear water that you have been washing yourselves with. A relief ornament in the walls depicting a great seabird dipping into the waves alongside leaping fish and whimsical creatures. As you have been washing yourselves off. You know, Ishwaring and looks and we are going into a holy place. Um does anyone else wish to wash themselves before we go? He says take off fishes. This is all who do this. Feel elated, refreshed, five years younger. <laughs> um, you also gain five temporary hit points. Yeah, you know, that, that's my shit. You don't wash that? yourself, <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> I'm back. 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 <laughs> if, it's, if it's like a religious thing, then he he would have done it. All of a sudden, he just gets washed from his uh, completely separated from his patron. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, stop! Uh, no. Uh, honor the traditions and the god, and wash themselves before we enter the whole the, the temple. Exactly. Chats moving through there. But walks up to the door and pushes on in. 
Indeed does he kind of Hello. starts muttering away at something. And as you, you know, look in, you can see some writings on the wall. There's a man who speaks Elvish. You read, Honour those who came before and walk on. As he moves to the. You all coming? Yep, on the way. Just some melon. We found you. Know, what's his melon was? Yeah, he's, he's walking around doing all this as he comes to this final room here. Alcoves to the west and the east of this chamber hold waist high stone sarcophagi sculpted with images of shells and graceful sea creatures. I cannot see in here. I cannot see. I, I did not light this room. Uh, give me a one memento. Let me check why. Um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't light this one. Bim, bim, bang. There you go. Oof. I think it was something else. Yeah. As you are in here, however, the two foot high water is. Am I about to say the right thing? Yeah. Uh, this area is not filled with two foot high standing water. It's just a light puddle more than anything else. Do you look? The sarcophagus all seem to bear their own little thing. Um, do you look the sarcophagus to the west? There's something in Elvish. However, this one here? yeah, I'm assuming Clifton has followed in Clifton. Clifton. Oh yes, I need you to move from the east. You notice that on there, the design of the lid resembles the layout of the shrine. Although the crypt has no visible exits, the room on the map corresponding to the crypt features a second passage leading to the southwest. The Transcription that you read on that particular coffin, sarcophagus there, reads Herzon, who built this prayer in stone. Where does it Does go? the prayer seem safe to read out loud? Yeah, see it seems more like a, it seems more like a statement like gone but not forgotten, loving father. Um did a backflip, went horribly wrong. Mm. Where does it show the other exit? Relative to uh, where I'm standing? Mm. South west corner of the room. Almost southern western corner. Over here? So here? Yeah. It says you are looking, you come. As you pass by the east, probably going, you read on there, on the sarcophagus, Awen Thel, our devoted first priest. As you look upon that wall. The fuck? I didn't say that. No, no, no. Gonna look up on that wall there. It doesn't kind of seem to be anything that you can ascertain, Revel, but looks like a wall. The map you just looked at seems rather confusing. But I'm in the wrong damn page. Fucking on the right page, I went too far. Well, 
அப்படியா
crank, which is Melano kind of pulls out a little. It's, it's the only thing she's got, and I imagine it's something she would do. She reaches in and pulls out a healing potion and places it on the sarcophagus, even though it's very clearly too late for that. You're gonna hear the once more of the something from here. I'll be right back. Like where? Like a cracking from over here. Oh. So watch this. I thought we heard the word something from here. Watch this out. Your friend here. Yeah, I got you right. It's Eshbar. I'm gonna watch this. Eshbar gonna bows his head and just gonna start muttering something off. And you hear another cracking from the wall. Not an ominous cracking, but as if something is doing something by the power of religion. I know, like, religion actually doing something. Never. Uh, I offer a prayer to Habakkuk, brother of Kirijolus. Son of Paladine. Son of Paladine. Son to the one great god who made everything and just fucked off. Oh, Patron of the Knights of Salamnia. Guide us in our quest for knowledge. Hear that? Leo. Ranking once more. Does it look like there's a gap here now? It kind of seems like locking mechanisms, you know? That way, like those really paranoid people have 40 fucking locks on their door. And oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ching, hello! And they still got a fucking dead bolt on. <laughs> I guess Exus Grounds can see you watch as the door opens up. As you look, steps ascend into a room covered in thick black algae. Revel. Thick black owl. Oh, Revel's muted. Oh, imagine that. Jalen. I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, walk in. The door oh, no. opens to steps as the walls are covered in thick black algae. Did you call for me? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're standing in front of the door, we're just wondering what you do. I'm sorry, I went downstairs to go grab something. I'm just gonna be right up in just a sec. That was move. Revel moves and hands out. Give me a Thank you, thank you, thank you. No more. And release at the black algae. You do get this very strong scented smell of age more than anything. It's it's ripe, but it's not sinister. You know, it's it's a case that maybe someone should have came here with a hose a little while ago. Hosed it down. Mm. Is there no light in there? Somebody else can have first, or give me a torch. Mine should be all wet. Um, don't I, I think I have the light cantrip. Let me go back to my computer. Or something, I have somebody to make light, don't I? Uh... Let me look, um... I don't think... Oh, I don't have the light cantrip. Um... Don't have... A light spell and the torches are wet. Well, as you watch as Ishran kind of walks in, you see a shadow cast on the wall before they vanish. Is there any light source? Anyone? I don't have any 
and I light a torch? Mm. Make an attempt. And I'll try. So I'm just gonna ask how you would do that with a uh, wet tinder box and such, but let's use the ever so magic firebolt of Melano hood. Tinder boxes are just flint and steel. Are they? Oh fuck, I thought there's kindling not in there. It's not matches. Well, I mean, I shouldn't need kindling for a torch. Well, says it. Melano's gonna fire a little firebolt at it to instantly dry it and burn it up to cause a light. Well, get oak. Yep, I'm going to go up this way. Not as you do see the ever incandescent blue light once more. Melano follows. I make the assumption that Clifton and Exodus follow. Yep. And Breville. Uh, I'm playing everyone now. <laughs> You do you watch as your good friend starts to look down this thick well at the center of the room the well emanates a sound of distant waves and cries of seabirds you can tell this is a room where offerings are frequently made frequently once a year is frequent when you ask a whole tribe to do something. Yeah. But as you watch... What type of offering? Well, as it says you watch as your friend here, Ishwell, and it seems to look down. You hear the words in Elvish, prayer towards the gods. As he does, you then watch as he's into his bag and pulls out a smaller bag as he does you know, holds it tight and just turns it and you watch as all of these blue pearls you can tell that they are worth a pretty amount just start raining down and it takes about a minute before you hear the faintest little plops Does it kind of keeps speaking his prayer? As it is, use all fuel. Something come over you. The algae in the wall seems to move, and the light seems to darken before. As you kind of hear this. Almost like blowing through a tube coming up from here. As it does, Ishman looks at you as the gods have chosen to bless you. This is the aid that he gives. For everyone. We end tonight's session with the following. Mm -hmm. Havoc blesses your travels through the northern wastes. This charm grants you advantage on wisdom survival checks made to notice the wash's effect from the chasms. Additionally, whilst travelling, you and your party members and creatures ignore difficult terrain whilst outdoors in the northern wastes, allowing you to move at double the pace you normally would. Oh yeah, that, that's, that's pretty good. So you now move at four hexes a day on normal. Hell yeah, my favorite good stuff from the go, but thank you as always, have fun. That's that. Uh, I believe I'm uh, earlier next week, so. All right. I'm gonna rate that down as well. Um, ba bum bum ba bum bum. Party blessed. Abacuk. I will be sure to 
send that to someone as well. Um, do you know what I can actually do real quick? I'll send it to yourself, John.